Oh, Squid Doctor, and I wanted to make a quick uh, recipe vlog. I am documenting my fitness journey. I'm currently working with a world famous professional nutrition and fitness coach to uh, get as fit as I've ever been before, drop to the lowest body fat percentage I've ever been. And um, the training is brutal and so is the dieting to do this. This is like gonna be like movie star status fitness body. And this is a fun experiment for me to see how far I can push myself um, and stay disciplined uh, to achieve this goal. So I already blended this and tried to make this video twice because my kid keeps screaming. I'm wearing to the park soon, but I wanted to quickly just show you it's a cacao smoothie drink that's warm so it's easy in digestion. Uh, if it's a cold smoothie, it will often cause bloating and make you look bloated. So uh, Chinese medicine dictates warm things are better for digestion. So I start with some Bob's Red Mill Organic Old Fashioned Rolled Oats. Cook that up. Half cup. Now my macronutrients are set to be about 32 grams of carbohydrate per meal. 30 grams of carbohydrate. And then I forget what the fat is, but the breakdown percentage wise is 35% carbohydrate, 25% protein. And then it's 45% uh, carbohydrate, 35% protein, 25% fat breakdown per meal, 1,700 calories a day, not a lot of calories, very little fat. Um, definitely has been taking me some adjusting to get to and have gone through a few hunger phases, but my body is adjusting as I stay committed. So first, we added that warm hot oatmeal, half cup. Next, I like to add a quarter cup of wild blueberries, organic blueberries, because um, it's gonna add some antioxidants, it's gonna add some extra fiber and some quick energy, low glycemic energy, just to kind of hit my post-workout energetic demands. Next, I'm gonna do a tablespoon of MCT oil, which is a uh, very good brain oil, very, probably the most fat I get to have in a single sitting throughout the day. And it's going to help me just kind of maintain cognition so I don't get too spacey, which I've definitely made the mistake of doing through not having enough uh, basic fat earlier on in the day or post-workout or pre-workout. Um, next, I got the Genius Protein. So I like to blend up the frozen berries with the oatmeal first and then lastly add this. So that frozen berry kind of uh, makes that hot oatmeal instead of hot more like a warm temperature. And then that way it doesn't denature this grass-fed whey protein, which you don't really want to add too much heat to, or if any. Next, I'm going to do some cacao powder, right? A tablespoon of the cacao powder, tablespoon, a quarter tablespoon of the black maca extract. So cacao for the mood and, you know, chocolateness of the drink tastes good, feels good. Maca for energy, sex drive, hormonal balance, and that's a... Really fancy, nice Peruvian ginseng. I do a whole cup of almond milk here, unsweetened. And a dash of pink Himalayan salt for electrolytes. And then cinnamon stick for not only digestion, but also good for the joints. In Chinese medicine, uh, guizhi, or cinnamon romulus, as they call it in Latin, the cinnamon Herb is a very good herb for breaking into your joints and opening up any cold that might get stuck, um, breaking open kind of the stiffness and the coldness of somebody so that their joints maintain flexible and more limber and malleable to bend instead of break. So I believe that covers it. And uh, I'm gonna, you know, I do it about a scoop and a quarter, which hits my 30 gram protein goal. And this is going to be my first meal of the day. Uh, I'm eating about five meals with that similar breakdown throughout the day. So I figured I'd just make a quick recipe, show people what I do for my first meal, and hopefully somebody finds that useful in their own daily life. Be with you soon. Peace.